I'd like to acknowledge the Durrambul people, the traditional owners of the land I'm reading on today, and pay my respects to their elders past, present and future. Hi, I'm Stu Barnes, and I'm really happy to be a part of Panacea Poets. The first poem I'm going to read samples the Sugar Cube's birthday. Persian Love Cake. My olive-skinned prince is baking in the Queensland sun. Today's a birthday. He blends until very fine pistachios. Baking in the Queensland sun, dwelling dried rosebuds. He blends until very fine pistachios. Airless gold swirls in a saucepan. Twirling dried rosebuds, pulse of black aphrodisiac. Airless gold swirls in a saucepan. He snaps with hands the praline. Pulse of black aphrodisiac. He is rosewater cream. Snaps with hands the praline, cooling like lemon icing. He is rosewater cream. My olive-skinned prince is cooling like lemon. I sing, today's a birthday. The next one's a cento from Happiness, the final collection by Martin Harrison. Happiness. Transformation happening as if marble turns to flesh. Everything you give off moving faster than purest desert light, taking on a bluer tinge, a sculpted shape, and you enfolding the world like it's a shape more familiar than air, opening up exactly what's required, making a mountain out of gravity's falling tissue, reorganising how the heat takes over, gliding over stone and the shadows of those passing the hillsides like a breath, drumming its fists on the veranda roof and certainly patching up those palm tree tops with far off cumulus. Carrying the thought of you, the touch of you, body held explored, crotch and cock, how you look at me, how you look back, Outside the window, honey eaters, blue wrens, bouquets of white cockatoos bursting from the leaves, their speed so fine they look like dark flames. A drover playing his harmonica to the flesh's range, immense like Australian sky. Words turning out later to be the simplest thoughts. I was born like a ghost or a short quick river into country without water apart from winter rain, shaping and reshaping sideways through winter sun's white light, recalled just now. A neighbour, what are they doing out there? Dropping a trailer or a drum. Knowing the world's renewable despite each paid off politician. On a backdrop of night, they know nothing of life's burning colour. Suddenness which takes my breath away, the slow dissolve, daybreak light on clouds like broccoli leaves. The poem for you, meeting the air, a last view of the sea. We farmed it like we were angels. The next poem remixes some of the text from Nigel Featherstone's novel, Remnants. Stern man for Nigel. He knows he is rusting at the bottom of the hollow barrel. When he strikes a match, waits for kindling to catch. A peacock drops larger pieces of wood inside. A funnel certain it must be 11 a.m. He immediately hears the puff puffing, becomes hotter, much hotter, no longer dirty. 
the fire looks to be out through the small windows, through the plane tree branches, new lime green leaves. It's no longer winter. He stands naked for a moment, eager for company, invites it, knows. His heart is thumping hard inside his chest. He leans his head onto the edge, eyes closed. And the last poem I'm going to read is called Proverbs. A fish always stinks from the elegy down. Hell hath no fury like metaphor scorned. The Senrayu does not change its spots. You can't get blood out of a trope. Love of the couplets, the root of all evil. Procrastination's the thief of metre. Nothing is certain but stress and narrative. The darkest stanzas just before the dawn. The possessive verb catches the worm. If wishes were similes, beggars would ride. There's no such thing as bad lyric. Two odes are better than one. An acrostic in time saves nine. From little poems, mini-series grow. Thanks.